if you're not doing something where you're uncomfortable or, or, or you're not sure of the outcome, then what is the artistry? Collaboration versus solitude. What's interesting in this project, there really were both elements. I'm sure in your process is there's a lot of alone time when you're composing. Yeah. Um, but then bringing it all together. basically reverse engineer your creative process and like listen to the music in a way that tried to get to what you were saying. Your music has two parts because it has obviously the, the beauty of the, of the music and the sound of your voice, but it also has the message behind it in the lyrics. I tried to present Teddy with the, the smallest notion of the seed of the song. We said, okay, this is not going to be just nine tracks. This is going to be a, a single connected organism. Like the DNA, you basically sent me the DNA. It's going to feel like it's alive from start to finish, not just a bunch of songs. And so a lot of my work was actually in the transitions yeah. because it's very hard to do getting out from one tempo to another a totally different mood of a song. So those were like the, these gradients or, or, or almost a, these, these sonic crossfades. That's why I love music so much and, and live performance so much and trying to keep finding that connection. That spirit of connecting with a human, sitting here and talking to a human is so valuable, but I think it's becoming lost. The whole reason I enter into collaborations is to lose control somewhat, because I'm so lucky that I have ultimate control over my musical world. So if I'm doing a solo record or my morning jacket or whatever, at the end of the day, I can manipulate it however I want to. So whenever I do a collaboration, part of what I really love is, is accepting that, that I don't have control. But it was so fun to like, just like give him the songs and see what he did with them. I just loved what he did and accepted it. <laughs> 